this is six five on the road we are live from hpe discover barcelona 2025 i'm joined by my colleague ryan we have saved the best for the last with our live stream series this week we are uh speaking with rami Rahim that leads now the combined Juniper and HPE Aruba networking business unit. Rami, it's always so great to talk to you. Thank you, it's great to be here, Will. Awesome, awesome. Well, I gotta tell you, I shared this with you on social media earlier this week, but I paid a visit to really Rami, yes. your AI avatar. Yes. And I asked it, like I told you over X, a very difficult AI networking question. And how did he do? He responded with uh, a recommendation for tapas in Barcelona in <laughs> Spanish. So was that, was that a hallucination, Rami? Uh, I'm not sure if really Rami is ready to take over my job quite yet. <laughs> Let's see if he makes some more progress for next year's Barcelona. Yeah, well, there'll be plenty of time to train really Rami, right? I think so. And I'm wearing my lapel pin as proof. I think it looks great on you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Well, let's get started. So this is your first Discover, right? It's actually my first Discover as an employee. I was oh, here okay. last year as a guest. That's right. So, I, so I this one that. hits different. It is, yeah. it is. And it's got to be sweet for you as well, right? I, honestly, it's been amazing. It's yeah. Been great. Well, so I love the unification of the AI ops, taking the best of you know Juniper Mist and uh, Aruba Central. And it's powerful. And I've known you for quite some time. You've always had this vision of the AI native network. So what does this do, the combination of both solutions coming together to really drive the realization of a self-driving network? Yeah, a lot of our customers are asking us that question because we have two very powerful platforms today, Aruba Central and Mist. Yeah. They're both they're leaders in the industry when it comes to AI operations, but they, all, they both have uh, different sort of sweet spots in terms of strength. Uh, Mist is a cloud native platform. Aruba Central has much more of a diverse use case across virtual private cloud and on-prem. So the approach we're taking is pretty simple. It is to take the best of each and cross-pollinate them onto the other. Yeah. In so doing, what, we're, what are we going to do? We're going to accelerate the pace of innovation across both platforms. We're going to address every deployment model from on-prem to VPC to cl public cloud. And we're going to essentially give all of our customers the ability to participate in this accelerated innovation irrespective of their starting point. Mm -hmm. That is not just the vision, yeah. but we put the vision into actual action by delivering the first cross-pollinated um, microservices that we demoed on stage in this morning and yesterday, right. uh, and we'll deliver in just weeks from now. There'll be a common hardware platform, right, that you can run both solutions. Absolutely right. I mean, we're showing that we can cross-pollinate not just the software and the microservices, right. um, but also the hardware capabilities. So by roughly the middle of next year, you'll have your first access point that will have a dual platform capability working equally well with Mist and Aruba Central, so our customers will have the peace of mind that mm -hmm. their investments are 100% yeah. uh, protected. Yeah, I, I mean, I, the progress we've made in just a few months is pretty amazing. Five months, right? Five months. Am I calculating that correctly? I mean, the, the close was a little bit longer tail than I think you or, or Antonio expected. Yes. But it's amazing to see the engineering teams come together within such a short amount of time. And, you know, you're demonstrating those, those integrations today. Absolutely. Pretty powerful. Yeah, I mean, I have to say it's gone easier and faster than I expected. And people ask me why, mm -hmm. and I think it starts with a very basic thing, culture. The culture of the two teams are very similar, very customer driven, extremely technology oriented. And so we're now on one team, essentially executing on a common vision, a common strategy, and we're making a lot of progress. Yeah, I, I'm fundamentally a, a performance guy. I love to talk about CPU performance, GPUs, networking, all of that. One of the most exciting things for me here was the HP announcement of working with AMD and kind of being one of the launch partners for the Helios rack. Yeah. And as part of that, there's a new scale-up switch involved in it there. I'm curious, like, what are the uh, technological innovations in that that are you know, addressing a, a, an incredibly powerful system like what Helios will be, yeah. uh, and also how that applies to kind of your broader networks for AI strategy. Yeah. So we're extremely proud of our partnership with AMD. Helios is an incredible uh, rack scale AI solution, uh, and we're going to be one of the first companies to deliver a Helios rack. Mm -hmm. 
as part of Helios, we're taking Ethernet to a new layer of the AI data center. I mean, Ethernet started out as scale out technology. Mm -hmm. um, it's the scale up network is still largely not Ethernet, and we are moving it to Ethernet with this architectural approach. The technical barriers are not small. I mean, mm -hmm. this, these are extremely high performance switch. The scale up capacity is enormous. Mm -hmm. um, these switches are such high performance and such high performance density that you need to have 100% liquid cooling technology. <laughs> um, liquid cooling is not easy. No, uh, something but that HPE has been focused on for quite some time that's though, right? Exactly the point. I love that. That's yeah. exactly the yeah. point. Uh, HPE has been doing liquid cooling cap technology as part of their high performance uh, computing systems for years and years. And we were able to tap into that immediately post close. And as a result of that, have already announced our Tomahawk 6 space QFX 5250, 100% liquid cool, and also this dedicated Ethernet scale up switch for the Helios rack scale architecture. Again, in just a few short months, it's mm -hmm. pretty amazing what we were able to do. Yeah. You know, during the, the, the networking general session, you and the team sort of spoke about the four areas of focus, campus branch, data center, routing, security. Um, and I, I just love your excitement when I see you on stage. You know, I think earlier uh, today, you know, Ryan and I were recording, a, um, or it may have been another colleague, and I, I kind of called you the, the, the networking whisperer, because <laughs> you're, you're, you're so excited you know, about, about the potential of what's going on here in, in the future. But, but let me ask you, what excites you the most? Like looking at those four areas, um, given like what you've accomplished just in a short five months. Well, first of all, you can't fake excitement. I mean, I can't fake right. excitement. So when, <laughs> when you see excitement from me coming up on stage, it's because I genuinely am excited. Yeah. And typically for me, the excitement comes from technology. I'm mm -hmm. a technologist at heart. Uh, and when we deliver great products that solve meaningful problems for our customers, I find that just incredibly motivating. Uh, I can't pick a favorite, okay. right? I just can't, I'll, I'll, I, mean, yeah, I love them all. all the, I mean, all in the data center space, we have absolutely pushed the envelope yeah. with our liquid cooled switching now based on Tomahawk 6 technology. Mm -hmm. In the routing space, we talked about the PTX uh, being a data center internet, interconnect solution now working very tightly with NVIDIA. Yeah. We also uh, announced a new product, the MX301, which is a, an on-ramp uh, for the inference edge that has all of the flexibility and capabilities that our customers love about the MX, mm -hmm. but in a small form factor, power and cost optimized. Mm -hmm. So that's really uh, interesting and exciting. In the campus and branch, as we just discussed, we're showing real progress in how our platforms are coming together and we're mm -hmm. accelerating the pace of innovation in both software and hardware for our customers. Yeah. And then even in security, I mean, we have so much to offer right now across the Aruba and the Juniper portfolios. Right. Um, you know, one innovation that I'm incredibly proud of that's already in the market is the SRX 4700, the world's fastest quantum safe firewall by a mile. Yeah. We're doing in one rack unit what others take 14 rack units to do with industry best, like proven through third party testing efficacy. And I love the complementary nature of the, you know, the, two, the two companies coming together. You, when you were the CEO at Juniper, very historically strong in service provider, um, also very strong um, you know, just uh, within data center, right? And you know, for, for HPE Aruba, data center was somewhat of a weakness, right? So like, I see the two coming together and one plus one far equals you know, beyond two. It's, yeah. it's a force multiplier from my perspective. Well, I, I can't agree more. There is so much complementarity between the solutions, but also don't forget that the thing that we can benefit from right now as a part of this combination is just the go-to-market scale. Right, the I channel mean, the and all yeah, that, right? The, yeah. the number of sellers in networking has doubled, and the number of sellers worldwide that are selling servers and compute and hybrid cloud, guess what? Each of these solutions have networking ports yeah. that we can attach networking yeah. to. And then like you said, the partner community. I mean, networking now has 47,000 partners. 
that are ready and eager and interested. I've met with many of them at this event mm -hmm. to sell the broader portfolio across all of these different domains. Yeah, you, you talked about the, we were talking about earlier about the speed of integration and, and how you attributed that to culture. I'm curious kind of what do you see as the next steps of that integration um, and kind of what will be the next proceeds of it? Is it something like this kind of sales breadth that, that the yeah. combination with HPE provided or? Yeah. So we've already made a lot of progress in uh, unifying our engineering teams, our product teams, um, and this is why we were able to make these announcements at this event. Yeah, it was great. The next step is sales. Uh, sure. So okay. our sales day one, where we have a harmonized single sales team um, that you know approaches the, the global opportunity as one team, starts beginning of January. So we've been working diligently to get mm -hmm. prepped for that important milestone, and we are ready. We have 25 yeah. days. We have 25 <laughs> days, but we, fortunately we didn't just start. We've been working on it for several months There's right now. There's some clean room activity. And we are on. absolutely ready. And I have to say, you know, this is where the rigor um, and the attention that HP has put onto this integration effort is really amazing. I mean, yeah. everybody is involved. Uh, from Antonio through the organization and the board of directors, they want to see this uh, combination be very successful. So yes, I feel like I have all of the support and the resources across all of HPE to make this into a real success story. Love it, love it. Well, as we wind the conversation down, you know, Rami, we've talked about your excitement, your enthusiasm. Um, often when you and I have met, you've talked about the opportunity for market disruption. So as you look out over the next 12 months, I mean, what, what do you see as that, that market disrupting opportunity? Is there anything, one particular thing that you can, you can point to? Yeah. I think if you take a look at what's happened over the last few years, especially in the domain of AI operations and this path towards a vision of a self-driving network, the progress has been immense. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's been immense by accident. I think we drove a lot of the innovation that has enabled that progress. We've gone from an era of basically just getting insights from network to now d deriving from those insights like assisted driving type of sure. situations where you, you know, your, your hands are not on off the wheel, mm -hmm. but the network is making some autonomous decisions, but with a lot of human interaction. Mm -hmm. Now with agentic AI, I think the opportunity is truly self-driving, sure. truly self-driving. And with the combined scale, especially in the domain of AI operations across Juniper and HP Aruba, I think getting to a completely self-driving network is going to get, it's, it's just going to happen faster. Yeah. Like, definitely within the next five years. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'm excited about that, uh, the, you know, not just the vision, but the pace of execution we are making towards that vision. Yeah, and the opportunity to lean into Agentic AI frameworks to drive that automation, I think there still needs to be some trust built up in AI. And, then like, you know, I think we're making progress as I talk to customers. But, uh, but truly, you know, the benefit at the end of the day, for, for network operations team and security operations team is pushing that mundane CLI based you know, activity and being able to like focus on driving real value add for, for the lines of businesses that are totally. supported, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, look, a few years ago, nobody would have thought that there would be cars without drivers driving yeah. through the streets of San Francisco. Crazy. Guess what, that's happening yeah. right now. So it's coming. And the benefit's going to be enormous. It's going to really enable IT teams to focus on what's much more important, which is driving their businesses forward, mm -hmm. um, avoiding disruption, innovating, and disrupting others. That's what all IT teams want. Sure. So it's coming, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be very, very powerful and beneficial to the industry. It's exciting. It's going to be fun to watch how yes. this all unfolds for you and the team. So Rami, thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. It's been great. I really appreciate it. Enjoyed it very much. Awesome, awesome. Well, so that is 6.5 on the road, live from uh, Barcelona, and we're signing off.